Good morning. Today we're going to learn to create grade books. There are four basic steps of creating grade books. You want to first create the individual grade books, one for each period. Then you want to link the liked grade books. That's going to be useful later. Then you want to create your categories and add your students. It's really important to do these in order. If you do these steps out of order, often you have grade books that don't function well. So we're going to start. We're logged into Screaming Eagle High School as a demo database. We're on the gradebook dashboard. So I'm going to click add gradebook. Then I'm going to skip the single term. Never check that box. You'll have a bad day. See where it says gradebook name? Skip that. It will fill it on its own. Then when you get down to terms, it's going to be the second mouse click of four to do this. You're only going to select one term. If you're in a semester school, uh, such as any of Yuba City's middle schools or Yuba City High School, you're going to pick either fall or spring. If you're at River Valley High School, or Albert Powell High School, which shows our quarters, you're gonna pick one of the quarters. So we're gonna pretend we're at one, of, at, the, at one of the middle schools, so we're gonna select spring, okay? Now, in, you only select one of the sections. That's gonna be the third mouse click. Even though it says here you can select multiple sections, if you do, you're gonna have a bad day. Uh, it's been my experience that every time you do that, anytime a teacher does that, it just doesn't work out. So now I'm gonna just select the very first period, this IB class. Then the fourth, fourth and final mouse click is the save button. So you come back up at the top and hit save, or you can hit the one at the bottom, it doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna to continue to make a few more grade books without commentary. There, I've created, I think, five grade books. Let's go back to the dashboard to see if that's the case. There's five grade books created. I created two IB classes and three honors world history classes. Okay, so that's all you have to do for creating the raw grade books. They're still not ready for use, but they're created. Now, the next step is we're going to link the grade books. Now, what we want to do is only link grade books of the same term, such as never link a fall with a spring grade book. Very bad things happen. Here we've got a mixture of the fall and the springs, and we're gonna make a group for each of the spring IB classes and another group for each of the, sp of the spring honors world history classes. These numbers need to be unique, so don't reuse numbers. So right now in this teacher's account, no grade book no, uh, group numbers have been used. So I'm gonna use number one for the IB classes. And then I'm gonna use number two for the spring honors classes. and hit save. Now, unfortunately, it goes back to the dashboard, so I'm gonna go back into link gradebooks just so you can see our handiwork. There, you can see group one is the way we want it. You can see group two is the way we want it. So from this point on, any assignment or assignment category we create in group one, no matter which of the gradebooks in group one, it will apply to all the gradebooks in group one. For group two, the same thing. We created an assignment. It puts it on all three gradebooks, not just the one we created in, okay? so. That's all there is to linking. Now we're gonna go create our categories. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one of them. I'll pick first period, the IB class. I'm gonna hit manage gradebook. From here, I'm gonna go over to the categories tab. Now, a lot of people just do points as points. So if you're gonna do points as points, you're gonna hit add category and you'd probably just say all assignments. Uh, and hit save. You have to have at least one assignment category even if you're just doing points as points. However, if you were doing weighted, uh, I could do this. Let me delete this one. And I'm gonna then say, check the weighted, and I'm gonna add the category. And let's say this is homework. And I am gonna say homework is worth 40% of the grade. The, 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 Percentage have to add up to 100. You can see now I have a, a, a temporary error message. So now I'm going to add another category. Let's call this test. 
and we're going to make test 60% of the grade. Hit save. And you can see now the red message goes away and it's at 100%. So that's all you have to do to create your assignment category. So let's just to show you, I'm going to switch over to the period two class. And click the categories. You can see those same categories are there because I created them on one, they're on, the, on all of them. Now, if I switch over to one of the spring honors classes, let's just make one of these points as points. Categories, add category all assignments and by hitting save here i just save this category type of all assignments to all three of those grade books and i can just show you real quick let's go to the sixth grade class and you can see that it is there so now the categories have been created we're going to go back over to the dashboard and you're going to add the students so this add drop button will only be on screen if there are students that need to be added or dropped from your gradebook. So whenever you see this button, it means there's action to be taken. So I'm gonna click this button here and I can see that there's action to be taken on all five of the gradebooks I've created. So if I click on one of them, the nice thing about this feature is I've got the add all students, so I don't have to do them all at once. I'm gonna hit add all students and it just did that entire period. Now let's go to the next period, add all students. Do that for all five periods. It's just a few mouse clicks. And it's done. There's no more to be done. So now hit close. And the red message goes away. I am now ready to create assignments and start giving scores to the students. I hope that is useful to you. Um, thank you for watching.